The first thing you might want to do on Ubuntu is to set up your preferred language. The languages you install can also be used for spelling and grammar correction on other applications. To add languages, you will need to be connected to the Internet because language packages are downloaded from the Ubuntu servers. We will see on the next video how to connect to a wireless network. For now, the easiest thing to do is to connect your computer to the Internet through an Ethernet cable. Now, go to the on-off button at the top right-hand corner of the screen, then System Settings, and then Language Support. At this point, you might be asked to download packages for your currently installed languages. Just accept and wait for it to download. At the top of the window, you will have a list of the installed languages and you can drag and drop to set the order of preference. The language at the top of the list will be the main language of your system. If you choose a new language to be your default, you can click on Apply System-wide to make changes to the entire system and not only to the current user. To download more languages, click on the button Install Remove Languages, click the checkbox of the languages you want, and Apply Changes. Next time you log in, you will be asked if these changes should affect the name given to the system folders, like the Documents or Music folder. If you accept the changes, be aware that only empty folders will be renamed. If, for example, the folder Documents is not empty, a new Documents folder will be created for the new language and the old folder is preserved. It's a good idea to go to your home folder, merge the content and delete the folders you don't need. On the Regional Formats tab, you can choose the format of number, dates, currency and apply it system-wide. Now you can close this window, log out and log in again for the changes to take effect. Next, you will learn how to connect to a Wi-Fi network and browse the web.